Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is for mid-April into the end of the month. So that or actually let's take it out about 30 days because the energy feels longer. So I want to say it's going to last a little bit longer. So it is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out your other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to look at your recent past, the current energy, and your near future. And we will take a peek at what's going on with you and your person. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the information's in the description box below or in the About section of my channel. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Yeah, I do feel like there's a new energy that's going to be popping up for you. It feels like in the next couple of weeks, and when I say new energy, it doesn't have to be a person. It just feels like a feeling of I need to start fresh. Now, there was, I saw the Six of Cups. So it's releasing some of the things from the past that... How, could have just popped up in the last couple of weeks and you realize that there was a little bit of hanging on to energies that are unnecessary. That's what it feels like. All right, so let's keep going and see what comes out. All right, so in the recent past, we have the Three of Swords. There we go. So it's like releasing something that had been weighing on you, hurting, possibly that you realized that you hadn't quite released those feelings um, the high priestess in reverse. Don't kick yourself in the butt for missing something. It, your intuition is there for a reason, yes, but it doesn't always resonate at, in that moment. So this could have been a situation where you felt like you should have seen what was coming and you may not have. There could have been some secrets or some things that um, were not revealed in a way that were as in your face as you had either hoped for or would have wanted. So it does feel like I'm just kind of releasing this because I don't want to sit in a feeling of woulda, coulda, shoulda. All right, so your current energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Nine of Wands. It can feel a little bit overwhelming, like you keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. And like, God, can I get past this situation? The Ace of Swords, there's still a little bit of working through that mental energy. So if you feel a little bit cloudy right now, it's just really more like, okay, let me pull back my energy. I just don't feel very clear about things, but things are moving because your center energy is the nine of wands. So whatever was rough or painful or difficult seems to be removing itself from your energy. It's like what's done is done and there isn't a repeat of a cycle, but I still feel like your energy is like, geez, I, you know, once I get two steps forward, it's like I get nailed right back. It isn't the case. You didn't miss anything. I promise you had to learn whatever lesson was there, even if it was very painful. And now you're standing stronger than I think you even give yourself credit for. Now, in the near future, the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Five of Cups and then the world. So there is something around a love situation that I think continually creates some kind of sadness. Now, this could be the same situation where you just... Uh, want to release the pain of it, but it's like there's something about it, even if you've learned valuable lessons from it, that still sticks with you in the near future. It's more like you're not quite ready to shift out of one cycle into the new one yet in a love situation. Doesn't mean that you won't date, doesn't mean if you're single that you won't meet somebody. There's just still some unresolved emotions that could be there. It, it doesn't like snap your finger, go away when you've had something painful happen. We all know that. We want it to just poof, go away. In this case, I'm going to say you're going to have to deal with your emotions around this in order for this cycle to shift and change, especially in love. Other things, as far as a work situation, I feel like whatever you needed to figure out, you're going to figure out. It just hasn't come to you yet. The clarity hasn't come as to how things are going to be laid out. It's like spirit's giving you this space to deal with this emotional stuff over the next couple of weeks instead of focusing primarily on work situations. So let's see what the overall energy is. The nine of cups, which is great because something, and this is going to do with work, something that you've been hoping for is definitely going to come forward because I had just brought up work and then the nine of cups showed up. 
So this is something that's going to be very fulfilling. I feel like it's going to make you happy and it's going to help stabilize you emotionally. Where things may have been a little bit rough in, let's say, a relationship, a family situation, this puts you in a better place um, emotionally. So you're going to start feeling more in control of it as well. It isn't just about knowing who you are. It's about being in control of your emotions in general. Now, something's going to come towards you and you it feels like possibly someone might show up in your, your space. But until you release some of this other energy, you may not take this seriously. But it's like Spirit's way of saying, just because you had something bad happen in the past, they don't want you to think that you're going to keep repeating the cycle. If you were going to, I'd tell you. But with this Nine of Wands, to me that says, nope, lessons learned. And it's just a matter of whoever this energy is, you've taken back control of your emotions in the near future after you deal with this. And then this person shows up knowing exactly who they are emotionally. It's a very paternal type of energy. Um, doesn't have to be a masculine. It just means that it's someone who has their selves together that way. And you may not look at it <clears throat> out of fear. But here comes Mr. King of Wands and Mrs. King of Wands behind it. Don't turn your back on something that feels right. Because it's like Spirit's trying to say this is something that could be very passionate not only is this person stable emotionally, but they also have a lot of drive, um, self-assurance, things like that. And you do as well, even if at times you tend to beat yourself up a little bit for mistakes made. But I want to say don't turn your back on this situation because it could be a really, really good match. With the Nine of Cups here and these two together, even though their backs are to each other, I think it's you more being afraid of interacting with this out of fear that it could repeat a past situation. You're just releasing some of these emotions before you can allow yourself to open up. All right, so let's clarify the Three of Swords with the High Priestess in reverse. I don't know why I keep getting this energy that you guys are kicking yourselves in the butt over things. Like I want to turn into mommy and say... Please don't do that because you had to go through these things to know exactly what you wouldn't, wouldn't, would and wouldn't put up with. The Three of Swords in reverse with the High Priestess is the Page of Swords. So somebody in the past has had, this could be a message actually. Um, there's a little bit of slyness with this energy. So somebody could be keeping an eye on what's going on with you or you feel like they're constantly like keeping tabs on you. That's what it feels like. If this is someone that you're either releasing from your life or trying to release, it's like they, they feel like they have some right to you. I know that sounds weird, but it's just like they don't want to let you go. And the moon in reverse again. So there's some clarity. There's some things that are going to keep coming out. I don't think there's fear here. I just feel like things are coming to light and maybe you finally got that clarity and this person's not understanding why all of a sudden your energy is shifting and you're trying to heal from it and you're not as accessible as you used to be to them. All right. So the wheel of fortune with the nine of wands. Yeah. The two of cups in reverse, because you realize that the two of you really don't see eye to eye any longer. There's some, there's some kind of a mismatch there. And that could be where some of your frustration lies. Like, why did I have to learn such painful lessons? I just wanted us to come together but it's going to keep hitting a wall until you realize that Spirit's trying to shift you out of this and help heal you so that you can come to that place where you meet that next energy. So for those of you that are in very happy relationships and you're not interested in separating from that person, then this message may not be for you. This is really for someone who's working through releasing something that was very deeply connected at one time that had some really deep, valuable lessons. Now, the Eight of Wands in reverse, this is where you pull back your energy because you don't feel like communicating. So if you've pulled back from someone, that could be why they constantly feel like they need to keep tabs on you because you're not communicating the way you usually do. And it's because you need to figure this out for yourself and the emotions have to be dealt with in the near future. So the Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups, the Magician in reverse, if somebody's trying to manifest you back into their life, I don't think they're going to be successful. Uh, part of you is looking at 
why it was so painful in the first place. But I think the other part of you realizes that there's more in the background with the two cups that are behind him with the five of cups. And there's always another path to be taken. Let's see what comes out with the five of cups and the world in reverse. And then the page of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of heavy thinking, a lot of processing. And it's, yes, it's about processing emotions and it happens mentally. We replay situations, replay of relationships, whatever it is, it feels like you're going to need that time to kind of take a step back and think things through before you open up and communicate with them. If you are currently in this relationship, um, I think you're going to be working on what's next. What do I do next? Even if I'm not going to take steps right this moment, this has just gotten to the point where it's too emotional, too painful for me to deal with. All right, the over, yeah, the lovers. And this is what I feel like Spirit's trying to say to you. It's uncanny how much this card comes up on the bottom of the deck when I flip it over. But it's saying you have an opportunity for something that's going to be really connected and very loving and a, little, a lot different from what you've been experiencing in this situation. All right, so let's get into who's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment and we'll see where that energy takes us. It could be similar. If you're waiting for something to come in and it hasn't happened, it feels like there might be a few delays, but I wouldn't, I, I'm hearing six weeks. I wouldn't lose hope. I'm just say, thinking that it hasn't just happened yet. If I can put the words together, it's gone. It's going to shift. It's going to shift but it hasn't happened yet. There's a little bit of a delay. Give it a couple more weeks, at least six weeks, and something's going to change. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you and your person, whoever's on your mind. This is for Taurus. So your person's energy is the Ace of Wands. They could be coming in hot. Hot and defensive. A lot of fiery energy here. But see, this is the thing with this person, right? Here comes the Two of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands. It's like they come in hot and then they go back out as quickly as they came in and they seem to constantly be on the defensive. So they don't really put in the work that it takes to make something come together with these two cards in reverse. So your energy is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh, ten of, see, you're not walking away even though you know you're happy and it doesn't create a sense of well-being or stability that what you truly have a desire for so the emperor being in reverse sometimes it's almost as if you give your power away to this person um probably because there is such a fiery connection there you could be dealing with somebody who has some narcissistic tendencies i don't want to stay in that energy too much but i definitely feel like they're always defending themselves so they're always finding ways to make excuses for their behavior the overall energy is the Four of Cups. So this time, you may not be falling for it. If things are going awry and you haven't quite walked away or you're trying to make a decision, I think you realize until you do, you're not going to feel a sense of stability. It just feels like it throws you off your game or it gets in the way. All right. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is so on point and in line with this, loving yourself first, release your ex. There you go. Time has come to clear your energy. And then religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. For a lot of you, I'm going to say this has to do with your spiritual path because something has clicked in you and shifted. And even if you've been with somebody for a really long time, there's some kind of feeling of this just doesn't feel like it's supposed to feel. And then we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then it says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Great love means getting out of something that is not working anymore, especially if someone's not putting in an effort. I know it's hard to break that tie. And of course, I can't tell you what to do, but it's like spirits kind of pushing you to get away from this or at least separate yourself energetically the best way you can in order to see what you need to see. And I think things are going to continue to happen that give you uh, the signs that something needs to stop. All right. Let's see what other actions your person might take or if there's other energies 
So we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems like they come in with a small offer, but the King of Pentacles in reverse, there's just still a lot of instabilities. And then the Knight of Cups in reverse. So they don't put the effort. It's like they don't show up with love. They may just come in and say, here's a little peace offering, but it never materializes into anything serious. And I just don't feel like the, the love effort is there. So your energy is the Two of Swords conflicted. Absolutely. Um, the Knight of Pentacles wanting to make things work or trying to create some stability there, but it's almost like you're confused about which way to go and you're not sure. And then the Knight of Wands. So you have a lot of passion. You want to move things forward or create some kind of stability there, but you have a very unwilling partner right now. The Four of Wands in reverse would say there will be a separation, either a divorce or something coming up that separates you. This could also be people separating homes, meaning if you live together, you've parted ways or you're living apart at this point. And that's part of the reason. It's like you're starting to follow your own path and maybe this person doesn't like that so much and that's why they have a tendency to keep tabs or seem to keep tabs, even if you don't know that they are. All right, let's look at the lover's oracle. Let's see what messages we get here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this energy says. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So that can be a really conflicting message because that would indicate that there's something still there that could work. When you honor the fact that you have a soul connection to someone, at times that can make it a little bit easier to know that it doesn't mean it's meant to go on, that you can always honor and love what you have shared together. And then we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. That's dead on. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself very much. And then we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So it's giving you this indication that things need to shift and change. Um, it doesn't have to be like right away. But I feel like you're going to understand that the energy is going to keep moving the same way until you make this choice for yourself. All right. So let's get a couple of cards for or from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. This is for Taurus. Okay. So mending. And I think this is the energy that you feel. It's like part of you... It's such a stayer. You're such a diehard. But this is reducing to a seven. So something around July could be happening where I think you mend with yourself, not necessarily with the person. And even if you do with the person, it doesn't necessarily mean that it moves forward. It just feels like mending of the energy, mending of the heart. And then we have regeneration and starting anew. So this is a 10. This is about new beginnings. And this is like being reborn in a sense. Yes, if you want to talk about the death and rebirth process, that's what jet regeneration is a lot about. No place like home. Some of you could have already shifted homes or you're thinking about moving. And this too could pop up between May and July. Uh, you could be 50, 46, or 52. And then we have why. Yep. The question we all ask ourselves, why? Why does it have to happen this way? Why does it have to be so painful? Um, that That's 31. So you could be 31 or born on the 31st of a month. I also want to say on the 10th of the month or the 7th of the month. And then the overall, I saw this earlier. Overall energy to end this is a message in a bottle. There's going to be a clear message. So if you're wondering when this is going to become clear, you'll know. It's like spirit's going to bring you something so clear that you can't deny it. You could also be born on the 15th of the month. All right, my loves, that was your reading. Thank you so, so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. I know this wasn't the most positive in a sense, but sometimes we just kind of need that push. So I send you so much love and so much energy. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.